Well, that's my cousin Debbie right there. She's got a moose tag. She, we just seen that moose. I'll add a picture into this video. We stopped right here. We was glassing, glassed up a big, big four point muley. Brantley shot that buck at 710 yards, just dusted him. I think it was a good heart shot. I'll flip you guys around and uh, show you guys where we shot from, and then I'll show you where when we're up top. But she's going to turn around. That moose is right down here. I told her where to go. It's above the road, so she's going to go and try and shoot that. We're going to go get that buck. Then we're gonna come back down and if she shot that moose, we'll help her get it loaded. So, heck yeah, boy, <laughs> that was a hell of a shot. I dialed the scope, it was 20 minutes of angle, held right on, boom, took a long time for the bullet to get there. That buck humped up, took about four jumps and tipped over, but we're pumped. Good job, son. So right here's where my boy shot it. It was right by that big pine tree, at the tip of that big pine tree. He's just to the right laying there dead 710 yards this boy can shoot man yeah we were sitting here glassing and i glassed that buck up and i told him i was like man we can get on that road and walk in on him it's like hang on grab the range finder son ranged him at 710 i was like oh you can make that shot got him dialed in had it on 24 power dialed up 20 minutes of angle and uh he touched one off, first shot, dumped him. I should have got it on video, but uh, my cousin Debbie pulled up right behind us and she was sitting there waiting to go around us and Brantley shot it. But hell of a shot. I think my boy just found this book. How far? I've been looking too low. <laughs> he just rolled. Oh, I see him. He's right. Right in there. That's freaking cool. Glad he's cool. Huh? Sorry for the shaky camera, I got it zoomed in. We'll let him find him. He's a nice buck. Yeah, I see him. Is it him? What? Is it your buck? Yeah. It's him. <laughs> Is it? No way. I'll you. will show me. We think he had a cheater on his right side, but I couldn't really tell. How big is he? Is he big? Holy! He doesn't have a kicker though. That's alright. Let's hear your war hoop. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, boy. That is a stud. Holy, we're gonna go up there and look at him. Bring you folks back when we're up there. Hell yeah! Holy crap, guys! 
Oh, look at that freaking pig. He's a three by four. Oh, I thought this one Look at that mass. Oh yeah, he's got good eye guards. He's got two down there and one big one. <laughs> Holy. Man, that was a poke. I kept going low and low and low. I was 100, 150 yards down there and I got looking to the, I replayed the video I took on the other side. And it's like, man, it wasn't that low. I just saw his tail and I was what like- What do you think, son? He's huge. He's huge? Mm -hmm. Look at that mass on that one side. He has a pretty good mass right here too. He's just a big frame buck. I thought he was a big four. Well, I mean, he was four on that one side. I couldn't tell. I, thought, I think it was this that we thought was a... Big old mountain muley. Well, we're gonna get him drug over here. I'll get him gutted out. And then I'm gonna run some rope down, I think, and try and drag him up with the truck. Maybe we'll get him right over here and try and drag him up there. That's crazy. I just seen him that doe and that little buck there. I thought he was more that way. They were right down there. No, that was your tracks. They were right over here. I don't know how we didn't see him because we were just right up on this. Oh, yeah. That's the road right there. Yeah. And they were like right there because there was a bunch of deer tracks right there. Actually, I might get him gutted and then drag him there and then try and drag him up. Oh, look at that. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, he's got a little... Yeah, we thought on his right side, we thought we seen a kicker, but it might have just been the way the brush was. Ooh, but we're going to get him drug over here, butt. and then we'll uh, take some photos and stuff. That was a long shot. So like I said, I ranged him 710. I asked Brantley, so you want me to shoot him? He's like, no. And uh, so I dialed the scope. All right, so give me the range finder. Figured out he was 710. And then uh, I got dialed in and everything. It was 20 minutes of angle exactly. Well, I went 20 minutes in one click. And uh, Brantley held it right on him. We'll see where he hit him, but he was holding right behind the front shoulder. I held like an inch back behind the shoulder, like right here. And uh, he took a couple bounds and he was out. I think he was standing right up over here, son. But I'll get the camera set up over here. We'll get him drug up. Congratulations, son. Thank I'm you. proud of you. He killed a bull last year, his first bull elk at 635 yards. He shot his first buck two years ago, three years ago, two years ago, yeah. 2020. Killed his first muley buck, two point. He shot it about 150. Big buck. Right through the heart. I told him, I said, you're only shooting a big buck now. I said, you got your little one out of the way. And that is a stud muley buck. I saw this part right here from like right there. And yeah. then I saw it was its body. Did he start growing as you walked up on him? No. no? Well, yeah. <laughs> he looked big through the scope too. There's grown adults who will hunt and hunt and hunt and not achieve something like that, son. You be grateful for this hunt you'd be grateful you get to do what you get to do because it is awesome we also got a pack frame yep i brought the pack frame down in case he was i thought he was a little further than he actually is Might have to get a knife though. i got knives in my pocket <clears throat> but we'll get him drug up on that flat spot get some good pictures and get him gutted and drag him up out of here i think i can drag him out of here, it's like right here. maybe but i got enough rope to stretch over the hill or cable it's a funny story right after Brantley had uh, shot the buck. The buck made about four jumps and piled up. And once we seen the buck was down, Brantley looked over at me and he goes, American Sniper. <laughs> he uh, he loves that show, American Sniper with Chris Kyle. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, he's pretty funny. He uh, quite the character. I'm very proud of this boy. 
He practices long range with his bow. He doesn't sh try and shoot anything long range, but you practice long range with a bow or a gun and uh, it makes short distance shots very easy. <clears throat> if I didn't think this kid would could do it, I wouldn't have let him shoot at this animal. Um, I know a lot of folks are against long range, but uh, you know, if you know your weapon, your rifle, and uh, you have it shooting good, you can make shots like this, and honestly, it's not that hard to uh, dial a scope and hold dead on. Um, like I said, zoomed into 24 power. Brantley held dead on. He told me, he said, I held about an inch back from his shoulder, Dad. And uh, <clears throat> the buck was kind of quartering, too. He hit right where he said he was aiming. Clean pass through. Um, a lot of guys say a 308 do don't have enough power to get through these animals. Well, 308 packs enough punch at 1,000 yards. That is equivalent to a 357 Magnum point blank. But 308 a great round. Proof's in the pudding. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a dang dad, dang good, good moment for dad. That's for sure. Very proud father. Anyway, we'll get back to the show. Oh. Hard on the steep ground. Come on. Get him gutted. Well, what happens, huh? Mm, I shot a big buck. Gotta talk loud. I shot a big buck. How far? 710 yards. 710 yards down across the canyon. Lift his head up and turn him. Grab down by the bases and lift up. Turn him. So you can see all sides. There you go. Turn it the other way. Big three by four mule deer. That three by four genetic runs right here. I found a lot. I probably found some of his sheds, but they went in a cell pile. Super stoked. I couldn't be any happier. This boy, he puts in his time every single year. Uh, shed hunting, scouting, archery hunting, rifle hunting. He goes every just about every single time unless I tell him I'm gonna do a very long hike and then he'll kind of hang back or if the snow's really deep, but super proud dad moment. He, uh, I should have pulled the phone out, but it was just in the heat of the moment and his buck was running does and got him right in the wide open, got Brantley dialed and I had told him, well, my cousin Debbie, she pulled up right behind us right before Brantley shot. And I didn't know who it was at first. I was like, well, we need to kill this buck before and let these people go by. And I told us, as soon as he turns broadside, touch one off and put it right behind his front shoulder. And he was kind of quartering too. So I hit him in tight behind the shoulder and it come out about mid body, perfect shot. That buck was standing right over here. He took about four jumps, not even that and tipped over. But that little 308 does damage. 710, 600, he's taking the longest shots with it. 635 on his bull elk, 710 on his buck. I think the longest shot I've taken with it was right at 500 on my uh, 190 inch muley a couple years ago. But we practiced with it out to, oh, I think I took some shots right at 1200 with it, but 700, I mean, six, 700. I mean, Kels threw a group at 620 yards you know, the size of a coffee can, um, shooting 168 grain, uh, Hornady ELDX precision hunters. Uh, this gun seems to like them. I was shooting 150 grain American whitetail and they like, this gun likes those too, but that 168 grain, man, it flies true and get tight groups with it. So I think I'm going to stick with that, but Anyway, I'm going to get this buck drug up probably another 30, 40 yards and then run some rope over the bank and uh, I might just drag him up over the bank. He's a lot, little bit lighter without the guts in him, but we'll get him loaded up, haul butt back across the canyon, go see if my cousin Debbie killed that moose. Hopefully she's got one down and then uh, hopefully she's not trying to load it by herself, but it was above the road.
so we'll be able to back her truck up and get it loaded so we're gonna get this buck up to the truck and uh haul butt over there and try and help her out if she got that moose i'm pretty sure she did because that moose was just standing there and moose season's winding winding down and she told me she was looking for anything of course our tags are either sex cow or bull and uh she was happy i told her it was a nice young cow so hopefully she got that congratulations my boy let's hear one last war hoop ah! <laughs> all right thank you folks for watching wish you good health and happiness as always we're gonna get this buck loaded up go help her and go home get him taken care of and then we got to go to baby judy's birthday party tonight go have some pizza baby judy's my sister barbara's daughter uh my god mine and kelsey's goddaughter so we got to get home for that we'll be getting our butts whooped if we don't <laughs> but kelsey's happy we called harry called uncle rich called uncle eddie they were all happy i we texted uncle eddie he was out hunting today too but uncle rich was pretty stoked but that's just how we do it this boy is a legend in the making that's for sure like i said he puts in his time every single year and he does more miles i've had grown men go shed hunting and hunting with me and go once and be done and uh they weren't even half as bad as when i'm shed hunting and he's gone i think as long as day was 17 or 18 miles in steep country like this and uh, we picked up some bone that's how we do it though got to put in them miles put in the footwork show you guys what i'm working with on the kenetrex these puppies are bold about ready to show wires oh. Oh, well, we got him drug up to the road with some rope. Brantley wanted to see if he could pull him. Good thing there's a bit of a downhill. <laughs> That's a 200 pound buck, easy. Come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. No, nope, grab him by that lowest side. No, all the low side, son. Huh? That way his neck gets up off the ground. Hurry up. Come on, let's go. Gotta go get down a big buck now. Come on, you're almost there. Two more feet. Give her heck. Hurry up. You're the one who wanted to take your gloves off. Pull, 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 pull. Come on, you're there. Come on. <laughs> Let's see him. Hold him up. Yeah, buddy. Congratulations again, son. Thank you. What do you think of Renee? Oh, again? Was she She's a bad girl. That's the name of the 308 is Renee after Kelsey's middle name. See you folks how I load deer by myself. down and grab it but well let's see if this bungee will lift it up there we go normally i'll tie a rope around one side and uh pull up like that so what you want to do is get them front shoulders over you have to have them front shoulders over if you have them shoulders underneath this and you're pulling 90 degrees off of his body he ain't moving a lot of people get stuck right here and they're like oh no come back here lift straight up just like so nice and easy
That is why the channel was originally named Mountain Made Mountain Man, because it was just me. Once Kelsey and him started getting involved with the channel, I switched it over to Mountain Life, so. Gotta be tough. Hunting steep mountains like this, chasing big animals. It ain't for the weak, that's for sure. But. Very proud of this kid. Each time I get to do something like this, you know, I, I'm very thankful I uh, walked away from the accident I did. That accident, I almost lost my left leg. I almost had it amputated at the hip. And uh, yeah, when I was in surgeries and stuff like that, I think I went through six surgeries. And uh, when I come out and the doctor was kicking me out of the hospital, he handed me a stack of paperwork that he wanted me to fill out. It was disability paperwork. I told him, I said, no, you can shove that where the sun don't shine. And he goes, you ain't ever gonna be able to do what you did before you got in your accident. I told him, I said, if I can put pressure and stand on this leg, I said, I'll drag this son of a gun wherever I need to go. A week or so out of the hospital, I did nine miles shed hunting. I got home, my pants were so tight. My leg was still swollen. It's swollen right now. This happened in 2016. My leg still swole, swells every day. Still burns every day. But I got that gift to live a little bit longer. I asked for 20 minutes when I thought I was dying just to tell my kids goodbye. So I live every day like it's my last. Very thankful to be here with this kid. Make an awesome shot, huh? I love you, buddy. Mm -hmm. All right, bud. Better. Uh, you can tell me. Matter. What you sad about? About my story? Yeah, it sucked, but it made me appreciate life a whole lot more. We get to go and do fun things. And Dad's thankful we got to keep his leg. No, Brantley's been there every season with me ever since that accident. Still hikes with me. And... It's all right to cry, bud. We just got to be happy for days like this. That was an awesome shot. I'll be thankful for everything we get to do out here. Love you. Made a killer shot. Now let's go show Kelson him. Well, we got to go check on Cousin Debbie over there. Brantley said that he thought he seen her rig go the opposite way, but we're still going to buzz down there. Only take a minute or two, run up, check, and see if she got that moose. So if she did, we'll bring you guys back and uh, go give her a hand. I saw two trucks go by. There's one flatbed with wood racks, and then that one I thought was her truck go by. No, and that crazy lady, she's probably already got it loaded whole by herself. Buck in the truck. That's what it's all about. Living life to the fullest. Look at them mountains. Beautiful. So this time of year, I always carry tire chains, shovels, saw, rope, cable, all kinds of stuff. I should have ran cable down over there. I busted that rope a couple times trying to pull this buck up, but it worked out good. 
good deal. We out of here. Well, we just come down to get Brantley's bullet and uh, go see if Debbie shot that cow moose. His bullet was laying right there, got ran over. Here's the buck. Right up there is where we just was. There was no wind when we shot. I was watching the leaves up there on the hill to see if there's any wind, see if we had to hold for wind, but it was dead calm, thankfully. But we just seen one of the other woodcutters, one of my partners, he said he just seen her. She was heading this way behind them, so we're gonna go see if we can't catch up to her. And if she hasn't shot that moose yet, we're gonna see if she wants us to jump in with her and we'll go whack that moose. If not, we're gonna head for home. Here's your bullet. Yep. Keep your trash, don't be throwing it out. All right, we're gonna go see if we can't catch up. Oh, uh, showing Uncle Rich his buck. So, what, what do we got right here? He said, good, 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 he could, 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 he <laughs> that's, fucking, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good stuff right there. 